Yo, what's up guys? It's Zach. Today I want to share with you my Egitus are all in one fit. So this is for doing like high sec uh, dead sites and things. So you got your 410s, sometimes your 510s, but man, we'll talk about that later. So let's dive right into it guys. Let's try and make it a quick one because you've seen like 410 runs like loads uh, the past month or two. So just uh, before we start, obviously it's quite blingy, but I was right off the, the cheap tech 3 series. So the, the cheap Loki, the Legion, Proteus and the uh, Tengu. So I wanted to fly something a little bit blingy, you know, I was getting withdrawal symptoms. So I did a bit of extra bling, but if you just want a T2 fit, you know, it's absolutely fine. And it, this fit actually translates well into a VEDMAC as well. Uh, I think we'll, we'll have a look at that on stream sometime as well. But let's just go through it. So we've got Sisters Core Probe Launcher, so we can actually scan sites as we're running refuges and hideaways while we're forming for escalations, right? So we'll keep it all in one, like the the, the title says. Uh, tractor Beam and Salvager, just because, right? So the Tractor Beam's pretty good if you want to keep a little bit range from the telescope on the 410s and then just pull the, um, the container in. And the Salvager is there because, you know, you never know... You might see someone getting ganked on a gate and you can salvage and make a little bit of cash that way, but, you know, handy to have instead of an empty slot. Veil's Heavy Entropic Disintegrator, because T2 isn't very good, right? Uh, Gistium B 50mm Mite Warp Drive. Now, obviously, Pimp Mite Warp Drives are really handy for helping your cap, right? So you don't get that, like, capacity, uh, capacity, uh, capacity nerf like you do with the T2 and things. Always mess that up, guys. Rip. Large um, Republic Fleet Large Cap Battery helps to keep stable and sensor booster and try and compute our pimpy ones so the range is really nice for them with the occult i mean that's a close range high dps stuff we'll get 22 kilometers and if we bounce in the mystic that is 54 kilometers with a, a base damage of like 310 so it's not too bad at all even on that now the damage isn't too far away from the uh the kiki mora so the kiki the officer one's got 425 and really the Kiki out DPS is this, but it doesn't spool like as high, right? But the cycle times on the Kiki are faster, so flying this ship, it's f felt pretty slow. Yeah, the sensor booster uh, bushes up the, the scan res to almost Kiki Mora levels. So you don't really notice like lock time differences and things, but you do when you don't use that. So I would really recommend when you form in the refuges and hideaways to definitely use a sensor booster. Uh, in the low slots, we've got just one medium rep and the best kinetic armor hardener you can get. Honestly, you could probably just dump that all together and like put a triumph enhancer or something there if you really wanted to. And for the max amount of damage, pretty much, we've got four entropic ra radiation sinks, which are pretty good. But man, still suck at killing like battleships. I've really struggled in the 510s just time wise, you know. that The last 510 I ran with this, I got to the second room. And I literally, I rage, I rage burned back to Jitter, I bought a Tengu, then ran the site like 10 times quicker. Like, don't run this in a, in a 510, guys. It's absolutely terrible. At any, like, battleship heavy stuff. Uh, obviously, I, I did tank it up a little bit more for the 510, but man, it was just so slow. And in the rigs, again, probably flex slots, right? I just put that in because of the, the, the kinetic we're taking off the Garistas and the... Auxiliary nano pump just for the repair rate to go up a little bit higher. But really, I mean, you could get away with like not having any uh, res mods on this at all and just go for like more application or whatnot. Because the tracking does suck a little bit, like compared to the Kiki. Even with the occult, right? You're only getting 52. So if you go straight for the gate in the first 410, for example, you're going to fly straight through the frigates and you might miss a few shots, which you'll probably see on the video in the background there. I'm not sure if I'm putting it at the end or right now. So. But yeah, all in all, it's still an absolute beast ship, and man, it looks absolutely gorgeous, right? It's like one of the best looking ships in the game right now, I think. And I love the way it transforms when you're like doing like way more DPS and stuff, when it starts off and it opens up. But yeah, guys, that's, um, there's not really much to say. Like I say, I've covered the 410 stuff quite a lot in this, and yeah, don't use it in fives. Just get a Tango, it's much, much better. And yeah, that's it, guys. I'll catch you in the next one.